Greetings everyone! In today's video I am going to place simple captions in certain positions in this video source. You can see the rendered video with captions in the video right now. I pre-made a few second clips about different plants. I have already pre-imported these clips into the project. I'm selecting all these clips and drag them into the timeline. Grab the edge of the zoom bar at the top of the timeline and drag to the right to zoom in on the timeline to show more details. Click on these three dots here. This hides additional menu items and select the subtitle room item. You can select the start position of the caption using the slider on the timeline, then click on this plus sign to add the caption and enter the text for the first caption, in my case, Pelargonium. Then click somewhere outside the text editor, this completes the editing. This blue rectangle indicates the duration of the subtitle, as you can see the caption length exceeds the clip length. You can set the end time to disable the caption in specific time to set the end time. Set the second caption position using the timeline side slider, add the new caption and type. The second line type Hyacinth into the text box. Now I use the mouse to set the length of the subtitle by selecting the appropriate caption by clicking on it. The mouse icon changes the, at the end of the blue rectangle, making it possible to set the end of the caption. You can adjust the position of the caption by simply dragging the blue rectangle. Now you can simply select another start position for the new caption by clicking on the timeline, hit plus and enter the caption text, cactus. Another way to set the caption length is to click on the clock icon here. This will bring up a small window in which you can set the duration of the subtitle. This will automatically change the value of the end time field in the subtitle editor. This makes it's quite difficult to hit the right length, so I prefer to use the mouse on timeline. I set uh, the position for, of the fourth and final caption and enter the text strawberry. You can set the appearance of your captions by clicking on this T letter or icon. The character dialog box appears and which you can select the font type of the subtitle. There are plenty of font types to choose from. You can then set the font style also bold, italic, etc. And of course the font size. If you don't like the predefined white color, you can use the color picker to choose any color from the image. Finally, you can enable or disable the shadow or border of the font. If you turn the shadow or border on, you can adjust their color too. If the default caption position is incorrect, you can change it by clicking on this icon with four small arrows. You can set the X and Y coordinates with a separate slider. If you now confirm the changes with the apply to all button, then all the captions will change their position based on this setting. As you can see for cactus, for hyacinth and for the pelargonium. Now I change the position of the first subtitle, I open the position dialog box and set the default value. value. Now do not confirm the settings with the apply to all button, but simply close the window by clicking on X icon up here. Set all subtitles in the same way. Finally, 
The subtitles can be exported to the separate file if you are creating a DVD or video CD. But we are now making a plain MP4 video file so the captions should be rendered on the video. Click this icon here and select the second option in the dialog box that appears. That is create subtitles imprinted on a video file. This is the default value anyway. Now I'll show you the finished video once again. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next video. Bye.